We are live at the Columbia Street Food Truck Festival. Hi, and we're, this is brought to you by Downtown New West BIA, and joining us is Kelly Savella. Hello. And you own Paws Pet Center. Yes. We had, when I, we were putting together the list of people, I said, you have, we have to get someone who does uh, grooming, but you actually do veterinary. You're, yeah. you're actually a vet yourself, right? No, actually I'm not. I'm oh. just, I was in the veterinary industry for many years and then opened up my own uh, business. I was the business manager for a veterinary hospital. Oh, okay. So I hired veterinarians and hired groomers. Right, but you're, yeah. you're doing, but you're doing, yes, yeah, so you're doing both out of there, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Um, it was just, oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Um, yes, um, the uh, it's kind of uh, what I when we were doing the show, I said we have to get pets on because we're doing all the community. We're talking about development. Counselors are coming on, and there's food and everything like that. Oh, which reminds me, Brunchery will be serving food at the end of the show. Awesome. Uh, yeah. yes. You must have eaten there before. I have. It's I, so good. It's right next door to me. Yeah. So yes, um, it's very good. And uh, but we have to get the pets involved. Of course. So I actually want to make this show I, I take butter mm -hmm. my own dog to you yes um, but I want to make this show about the pets that live in New West okay so I know you're um, you're kind of get involved with um, there was a, a picture with a, a dog named Teddy I believe yeah so we uh, I got all the girls to wear pink shirts on anti-bullying day and we took a picture with Teddy and I said you know we stand up for the underdog uh. and on our Instagram page. And uh, it was just important to me and my staff that we make sure we recognize such an important day. And uh, it was really, it was my most liked Instagram post. Oh, really? Uh, it was, yes. So Teddy was a big part of that. It's kind of special when you get, not kind of, it's very special when you get to do something and you, you put it out there and you just, people just connect with it. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's, you know, that's easy for people to connect with because I think yeah. we've all been a part of that in some way and we want to make sure that that's getting better, always getting better, always you know. And there's a few more things more comforting than dogs. That's right. Too. Exactly. Um, and then uh, the, you, the, the dental side, like you, you brought up, uh, I think it was a dog named Zoe. I'm, I'm not, I'm probably, I was actually, uh, I was asking you, you're, you're yeah. like more like the celebrity that gets noticed by the pets when you're walking yeah. around, right? Yes. <laughs> and the pets often will stop and, and uh, <laughs> say hello to me and expect treats from me. I, I try to carry <laughs> treats in my pockets, but I don't always, and I always feel bad when I don't. So I got to be better on that. So, uh, but, but yeah, Zoe was a dental client um, who, you know, is, is a really important family to us. And we were able to help Zoe with a, very difficult dental mm. um, and she felt so much better after and the owners were so appreciative and Dr. Alberto Schlicht is our dental, yeah. he does advanced dentistry so he's able to do those cases that you know um, are, are difficult so you know helping dogs imagine having a toothache all the time it's called the silent disease right yeah. so uh, Dr. Alberto is able to do those really difficult cases that um, not not all that's are able to do. Do people come in sometimes, like, uh, I guess, feeling like it can't be fixed, like, con really concerned? Is that quite a relief to them, I'm sure. They can, yeah. So, um, because it's, you know, extractions, teeth extractions, they're difficult. Yeah. Um, and he really knows what he's doing. So he's able to help those patients that maybe, you know, wouldn't have gotten that help somewhere else. Yeah, that's, that's an amazing thing. Yeah. And, um, and then there's, I mean, then there's the characters that you have, the grooming side yes. of it, and then the, the patients. And like you, uh, you said about there's a couple cats that have yeah. matching eyes, and just all. So uh, one client named her cats Ariel and Elsa, which match oh. the color of the eyes. So Ar Ariel is green. And yeah. Yeah. My daughter, I have a daughter, so she, uh, <laughs> she was all into princesses, and yeah. then you know Elsa's blue. So it was such a, they're awesome kitties. They're so beautiful. Yeah. The. Um, uh, you, you brought up a golden, too, um, and we're going to be showing all these pictures are going to be coming across the screen as people. Um, my business partner has a golden. Um, <laughs> they're, they're crazy. <laughs> but he sort of stood out to you when you were going through the pets. Cooper is um, just, you know, some of them are crazy, but yeah. Cooper is the most gentle, 
loving golden retriever I have ever met. And he will come in and he just puts his his head in the exam room. Like, we're going to examine yeah. this dog. He puts his head on your lap. He hugs you. <laughs> He's just so lovely. Yeah. The the one, uh, the, again, my business partner, Roy, that one he has, when he, when he sees you yeah. or if she sees you, it's just like there's just these strange sounds coming because she's so happy. Yeah. No. Just, Most of the time, golden retrievers are super <laughs> hyper and very excited. This one, I don't know where he got the calm genes from, but he definitely is a calm golden retriever. I wonder if I ran into him because I recently just saw I was patting golden. It was like that, yeah. and it was like putting his head against me. And possibly, it, yeah. It's a small world when she, it comes to dogs. They live in New West, yeah. So for sure. Uh, Willow. So, yeah, so Willow and actually Taz as well, they're oh. my pets. So Willow and Taz and another cat named uh, Hoot. I adopted them from the New West Animal Shelter. Hoot. So Yeah, Hoot, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, yeah, it's very sweet. So they're, they're the most wonderful kitty cats that I got. They're sister and brother, and um, I couldn't have been happier with two wonderful kitties, and I'm so glad I was able to give them a home. And yeah. Taz is... Taz is just such a character, and uh, when I first got him, he was actually a little bit aggressive, but we did a lot of work with him, and now he would never hurt anybody. He's such a sweetheart. So, oh, so you actually kind of <laughs> calmed him down? Yeah, like, um, he, yeah, he, we just constantly worked with him. I constantly worked with positive praise and treats, and because he was nine when we got him, so, I mean, he, this, a lot of these traits were ingrained in him, but just a lot of positive yeah. You know, um, work with him, and he's lo totally trusts us. Totally loves my family, and yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the part of uh, that is is personal to me because uh, one of your groomers um, does mine. You have two groomers I there, have right? Two groomers. So you've had Jen, which Jen, yeah. she's lovely, and Adrian, who is our head groomer, who trained Jen. She's oh, great I, as well. I see. Um, and we'll, we'll show some pictures of the, the staff yes. and everything. Um, but I, you know, we, I've taken Butter butter around to a couple different, you know, just trying to get a feel for her. And, and she's uh, she's the epitome of sensitive. Yeah. Um, she's half cavalier. So anything that remotely could hurt her or anything, she just doesn't want any part of it. And she has left some groomers and she, didn't, she won't go back the second time. Yeah. And I remember when I took her, right from the very first time I took her into yours, she was thrilled to be there. And I was thinking, this is a little bit strange. <laughs> She's just so happy. That's amazing to hear. That's exactly what I want. And, you know, in my grooming salon, I have an open window so you can actually see. I was going to say that, yeah. yeah. And I want full disclosure of what's going on, exactly going on there, yeah. you know. And my groomers are the most, they're so patient. Like, and it's open, so you can actually hear them. If you come in yeah. as a client, you can hear them talking to mm -hmm. the pets. And you will, you know, you'll always hear them positive praise. You know, every once in a while when they're acting up, you know, they'll go, no. <laughs> and then you'll hear two seconds later when they start behaving. Yeah. Good, good, you know, good yeah. teddy, good, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. good butter, good. Uh, so that's lovely. Yeah. yeah. And when you say it's open, uh, just for, for anybody who doesn't, hasn't seen your location, it's open to the public. There's yep. actually a big window right along the street, and you can go, I mean, you can sit there and watch them groom. Yep. It's, it's very unique, actually. Yeah. 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 No. Is it, um, you know, New West is sort of, uh, uh, there's dogs everywhere, but I, I swear New West has more dogs per capita than the average city. There are so there many. There are a lot, yeah, are for sure. And all these apartment buildings in New West allow pets. Oh. And that's the, ma the, the most amazing thing because, you know, a lot of places were stopping pets, no pets, or limiting pets. Like, even the apartment building above us allows large dogs. Oh, I see. That's oh. unheard of. Okay, like, so I wasn't just yeah. seeing things. Nope. It's legitimately more, yeah. 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 It's, um, I, gu I guess the, the dogs would probably go a little crazy out here <laughs> trying all the food, but we have to try some. Okay. Okay. Sounds <laughs> wonderful. Um, Gowdy, could you bring in, uh, we're doing tacos from Brunchuria, oh. which you eat, I eat at least once a week. Okay, what do you got All here? Right. Pancake tacos. Pancake tacos. Oh, oh they're not just regular. No. Oh, yeah, I, I know Dan wouldn't serve just regular tacos. <laughs> okay, take your pick. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know which one is which. I love so. avocados. So okay, I'm let's just take, go with that one. Try this one. I'll just okay. go with the one. These that's are going to be messy, aren't they? I'm going to make. A that's what's I'm that's okay what's fun, that. and you know that's what's going to get the most <laughs> views. The messier, <laughs> messier we go. I see you're hoarding the napkins over there. Can I possibly get one? There we go. Oh, you can take one. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's try this. 
club. Gowdy, have you tried pancake nachos or tacos before? That is delicious. It is really good. Have you had this before? No, I haven't. That is good. No, I just tried their veggie bowl the other day. It was really, really good, and this is really good. I did not expect it to taste like that. Mm. <laughs> well, we, I won't make force you to eat for min multiple minutes on the show. Go just cut it away. Right, I have sour cream all over my face. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming on. Gotcha. Thank you for having me.